Yo guys, welcome back to the channel and today we are back with another episode of the Manchester United live match reaction. This time out, back under the floodlights at Old Trafford in the Europa League second leg game against Real Sociedad. Of course, we are taking a 4-0 victory back to Old Trafford from our previous game against them last week away from home in Turin. Of course, fantastic performance last week. Can we repeat that tonight? Odds are we won't concede five goals or at least lose by five goals tonight. And if we do, well, <laughs> I've got nothing to say to that. But anyway, before we get into predictions and lineups, I want to say a massive thank you. If you guys are going to enjoy today's video as much as it looks like you have been enjoying the previous episodes of the live reactions, then make sure you guys smash the like button, subscribe if you're new. We're on 411 subscribers at the time of recording. Of course, our goal is to hit 500 by the summer. Can we get there? That is all down to you guys. Hopefully you guys enjoy this content as much as I enjoy making it. But we'll have to wait and find out about that. And of course, let me know. Of course, this game is, um, well, by the time you're watching this, the game would have already finished, like long, long gone. So let me know your thoughts on who was man of the match and who deserved the win out of the two teams. Um, but yeah, without further ado, let's get into the lineup. So I'm going to sit over here and I'm going to put the lineup here. As you guys know, I did not make this. I stole this off what, the one football app. So all credit to them and all that. But um, in goal, we've got Dean Henderson getting his place back in goal, looking like our Europa League goalkeeper, which I am completely, completely fine with that. I don't think he's there to start above the hair. I know it's a very controversial subject to say that because I know it's like all over the place in terms of our goalkeeper position. But I do think the Gea should be our number one, at least for the rest of this season. Next season, we'll see what happens. But Dino for the Europa League games is fantastic. Back line, Harry Maguire is getting a break for the first time in like five years. It is mad. We've got um, Lindelof, Eric Bailly in the centre-back positions with Wan Bissaka and Alex Tellers as the full-backs. I'm quite happy with that defence. If you told me that before the game, I would be happy with that. Whether or not I would be saying that after the game, well, I guess we'll have to find out. But right now, I'm happy with that defence. Um, of course, you get the likes of Maguire to get a break. You get Shaw to get a break. Can't complain with that. In the midfield, we've got Fred Matic and Bruno Fernandes, who is going to be captain in the side tonight for only the second time in his Man United career. The only previous time he did captain the squad was also this season in a 2-1 victory away from home against PSG in the Champions League. Hopefully, that's a good sign of things to come. And we do manage to get a couple goals here tonight. Um, of course, whatever you think about whether Bruno should have started or not, realistically... I do think he probably should have got a break, especially if Chelsea, a huge game at Stamford Bridge this Sunday. However, listen, I reckon we should have this in the bag. Like, we're not going to concede more than five goals. Like, it's not going to happen. And if it does, clip this up because it's not happening. But um, I can see us getting a couple goals maybe by like the 50th minute, even half time. Get Bruno off, bring the likes of like a Diallo one, or even a Galbraith who is also on the bench. So... We'll see what happens with that. We'll see what happens with that. And of course, the front three of Mason Greenwood, Daniel James, who is keeping his place after a fantastic run of games, and Anthony Martial up top. Um, I'm happy with the team. I think the only main player I would have rested that is in the 11 right now is um, Bruno Fernandes. You can maybe put a case up there for um, Wan Bissaka, but who's really going to come in for him? Maybe Brandon Williams, but. It is what it is. I'm quite happy with this team because you still do need some quality. And I'm not saying Brandon ain't quality. I love Brandon. But you still need some proper, proper first team quality. And like I did mention on the bench, we've got Ethan Galbraith, um, Shola Shortier, or however you say his name, um, and Ahmad Diallo Traore, as well as three goalkeepers, Bishop, Grant and David, with Marcus Rashid on his fifth year anniversary from making his debut for Manchester United in the Europa League as well for against Midgetland, I think it was, or however you say the name. Of course, he did come off the bet. Well, it was an injury to Martial in training. He came on, scored twice. Love to see it. Um, but yeah, in terms of predictions, I reckon I'm going to go for a 3-1 win for United tonight. 7-1 um, victory on aggregate would be fantastic. I want to see Martial and Greenwood get amongst the goals. Of course, you'd love to see Bruno, maybe some of the youth come on. But if you ask me right now, who would you rather see score right now? Um, Diallo or Anthony Martial? Put it this way, an on-form Martial would propel us to bigger things right now than Diallo getting his first goal for the club. I would love to see Dialo score, but if you give me the option, I just want goals, to be honest. But um, either way, 3-1 for United. Let me know your thoughts on the game before we kicked off, and let me know your thoughts on the game after we kicked off. Hopefully, we come away with a big victory, and we don't completely bottle this and become a laughing stock. <laughs> anyway, let's get into the game, boys. Come on! Chance for Sochi, that is Adnan Yanazai. 
Oh, DJ. Oh, no. It's a penalty to Real Sociedad. Daniel James has taken the Sociedad player out. Outside the They're going to go to VAR, but it looks like it's a penalty, to be honest. It was definitely a foul, but was he in the box? Yanazai plays a ball. Oh, he's going to be in the box, isn't he? It's a penalty. 100% it's a foul, and it's definitely a penalty. That was so poor from DJ. Come on, Dino, lad. Come on, Dino. Better with Here we go. Yazabal steps up for the penalty. Here we go. He's running. Oh, he's missed! What has he done? He did! <laughs> he's tried to just do a Bruno Fernandes and he absolutely skies it into Rose Ed. There's not a single fan in the stadium, but I'm surprised he didn't hit anyone. What has he done? He's literally gone for Bruno. He's gone for Bruno, trying to find the top corner, and he's just bowled it. What has he done? Um, you know what? That's what you get. There's only one Bruno. Only one Bruno. <laughs> Fred. Mason. Love that. Bye. Finds Bruno. Flicks it on to Anthony. Gorgeous football that is, boys. Mason, that's gorgeous football. Fred. Go on, Fred. 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 No. Bruno. Oh, he's in a crossbar. <laughs> no. What a bit of play that was on the right-hand side. I thought that was Fred's moment. I thought Fred was scoring finally. What play? Bruno. Mark, Martial even, sorry. He's onside. It's a fantastic pass from Mason. Fred gets there. Passing it back. Bruno have a fantastic shot just off the crossbar. Bruno. Goes for the long one into DJ. What a pass! Oh, DJ probably should have done better. Fantastic pass from Bruno Fernandez. World class pass. DJ, probably not the person you would have wanted that to fall to. There we go, the half-time whistle has been blown at Old Trafford. All square at the break, nobody has managed to break the deadlock. Of course, Sociedad have missed a penalty from Oyazabal trying to be Bruno Fernandes. There's only one Bruno lad, obviously he missed that. Bruno Fernandes did hit the crossbar as well as a couple chances for Mason, Martial, a couple of other players getting chances and DJ has looked very lively as well. I want to say that as well, Martial, I said before the game to one of my mates, he doesn't have to get a goal or assist, but as long as he looks like he's putting an F in, I'm happy because he's going to play himself into form. He's not had a bad game. He's had some moments where he's looked like his old self, I should say. Not getting the goal, but he's had moments that look good, that can... Old little glimpses of what he can do, just not finding the back of the net, of course. But Martial, I don't think he's had a bad game. He can definitely improve, but he's not had a bad game, in my opinion. Man of the match to me is either for Eric Bai or Fred so far. I'm going to give it to Fred. I think he's had a class game. Eric Bai has also had a fantastic game next to Victor Lindelof, who has also had a great game, to be honest. I think we've had a decent first half there. I think so Sociedad have had, like, maybe across that whole half, 15 minutes of it where they were the better team. But apart from that, I think we've been decent. We're solid. Again, it's not been a vintage United performance, but Sociedad are here to defend. <laughs> like, they had that chance on the penalty. Adnan Yanazai's looked dangerous, to be fair to him. But apart from that, I'd say we are in control of the game. I'd like to see a bit more flash, I guess, to, uh, in the final third, because it's a lot of the same thing. Sometimes we're getting chances. Of course, Bruno's had a couple great balls. Um, DJ had that header, etc, etc. But overall, I'm quite content with that first half. Not happy, just content. Um, hopefully, we can kick on in the second half. Get a couple more goals. I said 3-1. Will 3-1 happen? I guess we'll find out. But I'd like to get a goal or two. Get... Bloody, I need choke then. <laughs> but I'd like to get a goal or two. But um, get some of the youth on. But we'll see what happens with that. Anyway, second half. Here we go. Two minutes into the second half. Rashford and Tellez. This is Rashford territory here. He scored one from here against Chelsea. It was gorgeous. Can he do it again? Marcus goes one all. Oh, he put he sent the keeper the wrong way. It actually wasn't that far off, you know. How close was that? He's completely sent the keeper the wrong way. Oh, <laughs> the bounce has done him. Free kick for Real Sociedad. It's a decent one to be fair. All the way to the back stick. Uh oh. Oh. Oh, oh, he's in the crossbar on the rebound. Pause, he tries to get there. Clear the ball. It's the corner for Sociedad. The defender from Sociedad has hit the crossbar there. How close was that? Yanazai have a fantastic delivery into the back post. Tell us to take him to the head there. The defender probably should have scored that. 
Corner for Man United. Alex Tellers is over at 62 on the clock. Come on. He's whipped one in. Oh, it's in! Axel turns there, mate. The substitution with a gorgeous header. Absolute charging in. First senior goal for Manchester United. The Man United Academy player. For a local boy from Rochdale. Absolutely freight training in it. What a goal. That header was insane. <laughs> Into the top bins. Oh no, they're going to check VAR. One of the Sociedad players are down in the box. Don't you dare take this away from Axel. Let, let's see this again. Axel's on the edge of the box right now. Huge run. Jumps up. Oh wait, it's Lindelof, isn't it? Does Lindelof touch him? Oh, it's going to be a foul. We just need him in the end. <laughs> That's going to be a foul. Lindelof's just completely need him in. Would he have got there though? You can't take that guy away though, because he has fouled him, but he's not even involved in the play, right? Really? Oh, they're going to take this away, aren't they? Lindelof has just kicked him in the head, pretty much. It's a fantastic header for Max, and if they take it away, it's heartbreaking for the lad. But they're still checking. We'll be back in five minutes. <laughs> What's going to happen here? The ref's coming away from the monitor. Lindelof has just... Oh. What is it? Yeah, he's getting a yellow. No goal. Or is it a yellow and a goal? No, no goal. Axel with a fantastic header, but his first senior goal is going to have to wait a little bit longer. Here we go. 15 minutes to go. Mason Greenwood is off for Shola Shora Tire. Turned 17 two weeks ago, and he is about to become the youngest ever player to play for Manchester United in Europe. Let's hope it's a decent 15 minutes. Of course, Diallo's come on now. And um, Shola. Mate, our academy is absolutely fire at the moment. And there's still so many more players to come out. Neville, Hugel, Hannibal. Mate. There we go. The full-time whistle has been blown out of traffic. It all ended nil-nil. Manchester United versus Sociedad. Which means we are through to the next round. We are in the hat for the quarterfinals. The second half was a bit more quiet. Of course, we did have the disallowed goal from Axel, which was rightfully disallowed. Um, Lindelof has literally just need the guy in the face, Jackie Chan style, so you can't really moan at that. It's a shame Axel looking for his first ever senior goal at Old Trafford for Manchester United, but it is what it is. Of course, we did make history by um, bringing on Shola. He is now the youngest ever player to play for Manchester United in European football at 17 years old and 23 days, which is nuts. He's three years younger than me. Do you know how old I feel watching some of these guys? Diallo got a good half an hour, looked decent, looked quite offensive. And of course, in terms of like strength, physicality, they'll get there. They're young. They're, they'll have to build themselves up. Of course they will. So we're not going to judge them on that too much. But apart from that, second half was a bit dead. First half, I think I saw some people talking um, in comments on videos, like etc, etc. I, I thought that was a bit harsh. I thought we played quite well in the first half. Second half, I'll understand, was a bit more dead. But... At the end of the day, we were 4-0 up, do you know what I mean? There's no point risking an injury when you're 4-0 up, guaranteed go through. And it is what it is. All that matters is tomorrow, 12 o'clock, we are in the draw for the next round. My man in the match, I'm going to give it to Eric Bailly. I think he had a quality game. I thought Matic had a good game as well. But yeah, I'm going to give it to Eric Bailly. I think he had a fantastic game. Also, Axel Tuanzebi has C C um, CDM. Ollie, is he a visionary or something? Like, what's that about? <laughs> but yeah, Eric by man of the match. We are through to the next round. 4-0 on aggregate. And Leicester City got knocked out. So a big, big scalpel. And Napoli and Benfica all out. Um, so a big, big couple scalps taken out of the competition as we move into the closing stages of the competition. Can we go through into the quarterfinals it'll be now? I guess we'll find out what happens tomorrow in the draw for 12 o'clock. In terms of prediction... I reckon we're going to get Granada. I reckon we're going to get Granada. That's my prediction, but we'll see what happens. Um, if you want to follow, follow me on Instagram, my name is here. I'll probably put the draw results on my story as well as other Man United updates. So stay tuned on that if you want to be a part of that. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Smash the like if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you tomorrow for what will probably be more career mode content. And Sunday, real life football. See you next time and peace.